good day. It's Saturday the 25th of September here in rural Hampshire. Uh, that's um, Old Hampshire, Old England, not to be confused with New Hampshire in New England. And today is our um, Apple Day. Uh, this is the day when once a year we uh, hire the uh, uh, Durley Memorial Hall and have an exhibition of apples. Durley Memorial Hall. It's a memorial hall and it's in Durley. Uh, and we hire the hall. We have an exhibition of apples, we have sales, we sell apple juice, our friends come and help us, his mum comes and helps us, and uh, we put out an exhibition of uh, apples and offer them for sale, try to identify people as apple. We do uh, apple pickers lunches. And uh, have some cider today in the heart of uh, what goes on is the exhibition of um, the apples. Now, Apple Day, I'm just going to talk my way through as I show you these fruits. Uh, Apple Day uh, is a festival which was initiated quite recently, it was about 12 years ago. It was started by a small group called Common Ground, who I've mentioned before, and you can check them out on their website. They were so put up with quite a small number of people, a visionary guy called Roger Deakin, who sadly has passed away. Um, they were driven, I don't want to misrepresent them, but my understanding, they were driven by a feeling that everything was getting the same everywhere, that if you were uh, helicoptered, I'm telling that story in my words, I don't, I don't want to mis be misquoted, I don't want to misquote them. Uh, if you were helicoptered into any sort of town, anywhere in England, uh, you'd find Starbucks, you'd find Boots, you'd find Sainsbury's, you'd find Waterstones, uh, and yeah, everything would be the same as it was everywhere else. Um, and this was happening increasingly on a global scale. And the individuality, regionality, seasonality, all of these things which, you know, can make life so much more interesting, uh, uh, cranky and quirky, yeah, but more interesting. Um, we're all going, all replaced by corporatism. And uh, they hit on the idea that the apple was a great emblem for uh, an idea of trying to encourage people to, you know, to return to a sort of celebrating things which were regional and seasonal. I mean, this apple, for example, Miller's Seedling, um, it it's, uh, originates in Berkshire. And it's an early season apple associated with summer holidays. It's almost extinct now. Uh, these apples uh, are sort of emblems in some ways of um, seasonality. Uh, some of them we know when they were raised. Some of them are so old we don't know when. I mean, family seedling, for example, um, there's a lady whose name I, 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 I can't remember in Nottingham, Mrs. Brailsford, I think, I can't remember. Somebody in Nottingham found this apple growing wild, propagated it, and it became world famous. Spartan was built in a research station in British Columbia, but hey, that's okay. Um, Margill is one of these apples which has been in cultivation for hundreds of years. No one knows how old it is. It's got wonderful flavour. It's on the verge of extinction. James Grieve used to be very widely grown as a pollinator for Cox. Uh, again, it's, it's not grown anywhere now commercially. Uh, one reason for that is because if you bruise the skin, uh, it, it damages very easily, so of course it doesn't like conveyor belts, so the industry is not interested. Corpendia plat is believed to be the oldest apple in cultivation. Uh, curious shape, curious for a very long keeping. Fantastic genetics, believed to have been introduced by the Romans. Flowers later than anything else, it misses the frost. We can't afford to lose the DNA of uh, an apple like this, uh, the origin of which is shrouded in history. Yeah, Tom Putt, multi-purpose apple, eat it, cook it, make it into cider. Adam's Pear Main, lovely apple. Um, Hoiskin's Golden Renette, Dutch apple, long keeping. There you go, Russet, what can I say? Uh, it gives, um, if you add 25% of this to any apple juice, it will taste better than you can imagine. It's orange red race in New Zealand, da dum de dum um, Sturma Pippin, very long keeping apple. Ideally, this really suits a dry climate. If you uh, uh, live somewhere with a long, hot summer and very low rainfall, this is a very good apple, and if you grow it well, it will keep right through the winter. And Arthur Turner, for that back garden. And here we are, the whole uh, lot together. We have 46 apple varieties on display today. We're expecting 
maybe 100, maybe 150 people uh, to visit, to have a look, to ask me to try to identify their apples, which I almost certainly will not be able to do, <laughs> despite the, uh, the books that I have available to me. Um, but yeah, so it's about celebrating the apple, it's about celebrating regionality, it's about remembering our heritage of gardeners, the people who carefully, thoughtfully, lovingly and wisely uh, selected and propagated, named, loved and uh, shared these apples um, in our gardening history. And I think that's worth remembering, I think that's worth celebrating.